All right, so I just added two gallons of water here and uh, it's boiling out. Let's see, ooh, yeah, that's hot, hot water. I uh, smell it, still got some antifreeze in here. I've just put two gallons in here, so we will um, add a little bit more, let this cool off. Got about six miles till we get home. I think we can make it. All right, took about two gallons and a little bit over a half. Still coming out here, so it's probably boiling a little bit still. All right, let's get on the road. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is John, and today we're gonna fix two things on this truck. We are going to replace the radiator, and we are going to install a coolant filtration system on this truck. It's All right, folks, we're about ready to remove this radiator. I have disconnected all the pipes, I believe, top and bottom. So let's pull this thing out. A little bit of hay, a little bit of seeds. All right, well, there you go. She's out. Let's take this out of here. Oh, look at all this space in here. No plastic parts, I like it. Here's the old one. All right, it looks the same. I'd have to take, uh, let's see, this plug off. I got it upside down? I think I got it upside down. There we go. Oh, it's a better plug anyway. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's... I needed to take these two connectors off the old radiator to put on the new radiator. These are the connectors for the transmission lines. And so I need a just uh, reuse these. Good news, it fits. Let's get these plants locked down. All right, it's in. All I gotta do is really hook up the hoses. All right, and then underneath, I'm gonna have the uh, return hose here. We just have to transfer this fitting to the uh, from the old radiator to the new one. Just tighten it up with a little bit of uh, not too much. Uh, I think that's good. I'm sure. Yeah, that's good. Alright. I'm going to refrain from hooking up these coolant lines right now because what I want to do is replace this um, sensor right here as you can see there is no sensor uh, or at least it's not connected uh, I believe that I don't know it might have melted off but anyway that's your uh, back pressure exhaust back pressure sensor I believe and I'm not getting any boost right now um, and I believe it's because this is disconnected so I need to fix that so I can get power back to this vehicle um, and also, you guys are really gonna like this, or at least I'm gonna really like it. I got a coolant filtration system coming. Um, it is gonna, it's gonna mount right here, and I gotta cut into my coolant line, um, I think this one right here. Well, look what just arrived. 
XDP. Extreme diesel power. All right, can't wait to crack into this. I think it was only about 120 bucks, maybe 150 bucks, uh, but it was definitely under 200. Like Sinister Diesel was over 200, I believe. Um, but this came with one filter. It comes with, oh, this is what I like too. Look at this. This is already hardwired together, so I don't have to make any connection. That's that's connected for me. It even came with a little sticker. All right, but before we get the coolant filtration system on, let's, um, I want to take this off so I can get a one inch deep socket. See if I can pull that off. I've tried taking it off already with the wrench and it's, I think I just need some power tools. Just twist it off real quick, so. That should give me enough room. All right, let's see if we can pop this off real quick. There we go. Yeah, it was starting to bend this pipe if, when I was doing it by hand. So doing it with power tool. Hopefully did no damage to that, but where is that sensor? Oh, wait, <laughs> what am I doing? This is the old, this is the old broken piece off here. There we go, let's take that off. Now we can plug it back up. There we go. I'm putting this air intake back on. I'm noticing some oil. Yeah, that's definitely oil down there. Um, so if there's oil coming in through here, which means it's coming through my intercooler here, which means it's coming from here, which means it's coming from the turbo. That tells me that maybe uh, the O-rings in there or something in the turbo is it's not operating correctly or it's leaking. I really didn't want to have to take that turbo out and diagnose it. Yeah, I mean, look at that. There's a little oil right there. That's definitely oil there. I think we're gonna have to take the turbo off. I really didn't want to, but uh, I'm gonna hook this back up, seeing if that sensor actually fix the boost issue we still might need to take the turbo off just to fix the o-rings in there or whatever we need to fix in there probably needs a good cleaning let's put this all back together and then we'll give it a test and then we'll go from there let's take inventory here let's this, this no instructions i do like to read instructions oh that looks nice though look at that okay clamp Nice and snug. I gotta take this off here and here. Give me some room. Get this off. You don't have to take this off, uh, but, but look at this. Let me get the light. Look at this. there's oil in there. See that? So um, yeah, I probably need to get in the turbo. The turbo. That's one of the reasons why I am uh, replacing this because um, it's very important to get keep the oil cool and um, there's an oil cooler in this truck where the coolant goes through that and if the coolant is dirty got sand in it it could eventually destroy that and you could get oil and coolant mixed and the oil is very critical in this machine it affects so many systems um, it cools the engine one um, it runs the fuel injectors two it uh, it cools the turbo three and um, there's a fourth one What's the fourth one? I know there's a fourth. Uh, anyway, um, that's one of the reasons I'm replacing this because I want some nice clean coolant um, and I want this truck to last a long time. So so the first thing is we're gonna take this hose off the overflow here, the coolant reservoir. Ow. We're not gonna need this anymore, but I am gonna save this in case we have to return to stock configuration. Oh, come on. Not the best tool to be cutting this off with. OK, 
try. All right, so that's enough room there. Can do it like that. There we go. And we just gotta splice this hose over here. One cut. Really, all we need to do, I believe. All right, now on this side, this is the, uh, I believe the, uh, the heater core tube. So we'll take this off and tap into it. Oh. Oh, I gotta put this one here. Like so. All right, and then just connect that. Yeah, I can just sit back a little bit, right? Right there, go back there. And we can splice it together. It's, I don't know, it's gonna be on that exhaust right there. That will melt in an instant, okay. So let's, I think we're gonna need to splice this a little bit. Okay, I think I like this wrapped around the transmission dipstick here and the oil intake. And I can just cut in, say, right about there. And that's really not gonna rub anything, I don't think, there. Yeah, never mind. I think I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, that should be all right like that, right in the middle. So that's on there. Okay, I think that's good. All right, look at this. That's right there. It's not touching anything there, not hitting anything. Come in here, 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 here. Okay. Let's put our uh, filter on there and we can fill her back up with coolant. All right, and let's install this. There we go. All right, let's get this fan shroud put back on. And is that? Yep, yeah, that's on there. And then we'll fill it up with coolant. All right, I got the shroud in. It's not the not the best fit. Um, I had to push this down. This really needs to be trimmed up here. It's it's not as tight as it should be. Uh, but this is just so fragile right now. I'll keep an eye on it. I went ahead and put the date on there and the number of miles on this truck. So. So I know when to replace that. I'll probably leave it on for you know a thousand miles or so, and then replace it, and then uh, and then it's probably good to go for ten thousand. But uh, it's got these nice cutoff switches here. If you ever need to do any maintenance, you cut those off, um, and then <clears throat> unscrew it. This is how I got it twisted. Over. So I got it coming around this air intake, coming right through here, right between this gap over here. It seems to fit pretty well right there. You can see the clamps I put in there. So that fits really well. And then this was kind of long, but it, it stays out of the way. It just kind of sits up there. So that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. It helped me out if you hit the like button and uh, subscribe too, if you haven't already. You guys want to come out? Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one.